Hello everybody, Loki Magics, another day, another video, and yes, it has been a very long time since I uploaded a video, but honestly, come on guys, 2020, crazy year, so I had to take a break, plus, Raid was kind of getting stale, but after seeing this new video that Raid Shadow Legends put out, describing the Doom Tower, new champions, new content, new artifacts, I was kind of like, wow man, I really want to come back to the game and also start making videos, so... Long story short, that's why I'm back, and if you guys have been following my channel for a while and you see this video, thank you for checking it out, I appreciate it, and if you're new to my channel, welcome, and hopefully you find something you like here. But I do want to announce one change, I want to use this avatar right here to kind of represent me, and the purpose of this avatar is to grow with the channel. You're probably like, what do you mean? So for every 5,000 subscribers, I want to slowly make this avatar look more badass, right? So right now he looks kind of plain, kind of boring, but as we get more subscribers, I'm gonna start making him look better and better. So it's just something I wanna to add to my channel to make it unique. Plus, I don't really show my face in these videos, so I figure having a rep representation of Loki Magics in this fashion might have, may, might give you guys something to connect to, right? When you hear my name or hear my channel. so. Hopefully that works out. If it doesn't, let me know in the comment section. But regardless, what is the point of this video? The point of this video is to talk about Duchess and Rotos because they are my two favorite champions and they made Arena a lot of fun because there's a lot of things you could do with these champions mechanically to kind of make your Arena experience a little bit diverse, right? They're not just like a plug and play champion. Some thought process does need to go into of using these champions to you know overcome your opponents in the arena but now that they're getting nerfed it's going to completely change the game so i just kind of want to put my thoughts on that and my experiences with duchess and roto so if that sounds interesting to you check out the video and hopefully yeah you will enjoy your time with me so with that being said let's get right into the video First up is Rotos, and let's talk about why people hate and love this champion so much. Now you can see right here, pretty much Rotos goes around one punching everybody. He is a one hitter quitter, he can snipe out the most threatening person on the opposite team, and his kit is just designed pretty much to do all that. He is the perfect single target champion. He'll hit you hard, ignore defense, and at the same time, block your revive with his A3. So. This guy is arena meta, right? You guys know that. That's why some people love him and some people hate him if you don't have him. And not only that, his extra turns are ridiculous. I mean, let's count them right here. Seven times in a row, that is a lot of turns. He almost took out the whole party, right? So we can see why some people hate this champion and why some people love this champion. But yes, he is wearing relentless gear, so that did play into some of those extra turns parking. But the real question is, now that he's getting nerfed, is he still gonna be able to perform nearly the same? So let's explore that for a little bit. So by now, we all know that Rotos is getting nerfed, especially that A3. No more instant gratification of his block revive. You have to use his A2 to fill up his, I guess, HP gains, and then he will start blocking revive. So that is gonna be game changing for a lot of people because I like to use Rotos to go in there and just knock out the threat immediately, just like this right here. No more, don't even have to worry about it. But if you have a strong A2 like I used here, you can also take out the reviver. So in a sense, that block revive really didn't matter. So Rotos will probably still be good. Yes, we're gonna have some damage, uh, I guess damage reduction done to Rotos, so he's not gonna hit as hard. And his A1 is not gonna uh, pretty much guarantee that extra turn like he used to. I think it was like a 5% drop, which could be huge, right? Cause you can see right here, his A1 has got that extra turn and I was able to use A2 again. And all those things coming into play does determine the outcome of your battle. So. Rotos is getting a hard nerf, but at the same time, he still functions pretty well. 
So I've been thinking about Rodos' nerf for a long time and I kind of could see why they did it because that extra turn and block revise could be pretty problematic, especially for other champions like Kurtexa here. Now she has an ability to be able to be revived right after death, right? But Rodos pretty much makes her useless. So I'm not saying because I'm not saying this is how it is because I don't know, but what if the new champions coming have similar features, right? And Rodos would just make them useless. So. I don't know what their future plans are, but at the same time, currently in the arena, I could see how Rodos is taking away from a lot of other champions. So I could see that, but then at the same time, champions like Sifi and Warlord already does so much to other champions. It's kind of not fair that Rodos took the brunt of the nerf, right? So I see the frustration, but as you saw in the previous example, I feel like Rodos will still be a great champion. I feel like he'll still be able to do what he does. Yes, he's taking a slight damage reduction and small things like that too. And he's going to be a lot harder to get that full value from. But I feel like he is going to still be a very, very strong arena meta. Just obviously not as good as he used to be, which is unfortunate. All right, so let's talk about Rodos' gear. Now, this Rodos is my second Rodos, and I didn't use him in this video, but just for you guys that want to see my second Rodos, this is what he's wearing. It's okay. I just kind of want to see what the difference will be with a higher HP and not in Relentless Set, but especially now that this nerf has happened, I really feel like Relentless Set is the way to go. And this is the Rodos you guys seen in this video and you guys saw what he could do it's pretty good lots of extra turns and huge damage right so this guy is pretty sick i love rotos it's so sad that he's getting nerfed but i don't know we'll see we'll see how it plays out once it's launched and i guess we will find out how badly he has been impacted but this rotos decent hp attacks pretty good really decent defense for rotos Speed's pretty good, crit rate almost perfect, crit damage could be maybe a little bit higher, but not bad. And if you could afford resistance, then you know pump that up because that was pump that up because that was always always help you, especially with Sifi doing that sleep on her A1, right? So resistance is really good. And he really doesn't need um accuracy. You can see right here, his masteries. And of course, he is fully booked out. You know, if you have Rotos and you're debating on booking them, you should be a little bit hesitant because of the nerf, but before that he was definitely worth booking now since we're here let's just talk about duchess's artifact set real quick so we could continue this video and talk about duchess but it's one thing that i love about my duchess and it's this banner right here now this banner rolled three time on speed and hp attack defense percentage stats and it's a six star epic. If it was legendary, it'd be even better. But honestly, I love this banner. I think that this for me is my Sifi of artifacts, right? Now, I don't know how many of you out there also have banners similar to this, but man, I am very proud of this banner. Just wanted to show it off real quick, give it a little spotlight shout out. But anyways, on to the rest of her gear. So you can see here, she has a lot of HP. And yeah, she is wearing steward gear. That's because I was using her in clan boss. I wanted to use this damage mitigation plus with her passive damage mitigation. But Sifi isn't that good in clan boss. And especially with this nerf that's coming up, man, it really takes away a lot from her for clan boss. So I don't really think she's good for clan boss at all anymore. I think she's only going to be good for campaign and arena type content. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but that's just how I feel about it. And obviously she is fully booked out. I don't know if it's still worth booking her out, but like we said, we'll see when that time comes. But yeah, let's get into Duchess and yeah. Now when it comes to Duchess, I do not understand why they even nerfed her because already right off the bat she's not the most powerful champion. She has a kit that kind of screams clan boss but at the same time it's very difficult to build around her and I have Chris here in the background but yes he can increase the duration of her buffs but there's really not many champions that synergize well with Duchess because her cooldowns are already kind of long and she doesn't, I don't know, like I feel like she brings a lot to the table but at the same time it's not really that good where everyone wants to use Duchess. I can see how some people want to use Duchess because it might be that's all they have 
but I feel like most meta in-game players don't even consider Duchess a good clan boss champion. So I don't know why they nerfed that. I feel like it took away from a lot of people that do actually use Duchess and clan boss. And it just really doesn't make sense. And the only thing I could think about is that maybe this new content, including the dungeons and champions that are coming, might be affecting Duchess in a way or she will be affecting them in a certain way because this isn't this isn't the first time they brought up or nerfed or did anything to Duchess's kit so there has to be something going on I'm not sure but anyways enough of that it's very unfortunate that they nerfed Duchess because of clan boss use cases but when I think about it in the arena sense I feel like it's not too bad so let me explain and show you why I feel like the nerf when it comes to arena isn't that bad but for all you guys out there using it using Duchess for clan boss I am sorry I really don't know why they did that but hey you know I guess not every champion could fit in every content in the game so let's talk about arena and why I feel like it's still a crappy nerf but it's not that bad so let's go all right so let's get this one scenario out the way because most people should know by now duchess little tooth is a great champion but she has a hard counter and that is madame cerise because you can see right here she just took all those buffs away and gave us decreased attack and decreased defense just like that in one swipe right so madame cerise is a hard counter to duchess and this is before the nerf so just imagine now that we're getting this nerf and her cooldowns are much longer instead of three it'll be four so that's going to be very unfortunate right now i'm not saying every champion should be strong against everybody but we already have a solution for duchess so i really don't understand why they nerfed her even further it, i'm just hoping it will make sense in the future but i just wanted to get this out the way because now that we lost our buffs we're kind of hurt right and we got to wait longer and they're just they're pretty much going to win this fight so we'll fast forward to our demise all right and that is ko but realistically it is very difficult to win a fight against man of cerise in platinum using duchess Madame Cerise is a hard counter to Duchess, so kind of knew that's how it's going to play out. But we're going to switch her out with Hegemon and just kind of see how it goes. The setup is completely different. Using Hegemon, we're able to block their cool, uh, skills. So you can see right here, they can't slow us down. We're going faster, and we have an opportunity to use Rotos to take out the most annoying person on their team, which is Madame Cerise for me. Block Revive, she can't come up right now. If we're able to kill Arbiter right here, the nerf wouldn't really affect, the, affect us. But you can see right here, Arbiter did try to raise Madame Cerise, but she wasn't able to because this is pre-nerf. But if Rotos did have that nerf on, then Madame Cerise would be back up. So we can see how this nerf will impact the way we play Arena. And it's going to suck because Duchess and Madame, uh, I'm sorry, Duchess and Rotos are one of the top players in Arena. So very 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 unfortunate sad day for all the people that have them on their account but i i don't think it's going to be terrible terrible i think it's going to be if anything it's just going to make these fights last a lot longer i feel like in the long run you'll be able to do pretty much the same thing you're doing it's just that the fights will be a lot longer and yes you probably lose a little bit more but you know hopefully plenium knows what they're doing and this is to help us out. But anyways, let's check out Duchess in another scenario. All right, so we all know that Duchess is horrible against Madame Cerise. We pretty much got wiped out, as you saw earlier. But right here, you can see we're going against Tormund. And I feel like Duchess is a really, really good counter to Tormund. Now, I'm not saying she's the absolute answer to Tormund, but she really does help out my team composition when I go up against Tormund. Those block debuffs absolutely helps you're not getting frozen you're able to have your turn so it's a great way to go against the torment and also we do have chris here in my team which can increase the duration of my buffs so i feel like you know maybe her getting that nerf where her cooldown is increased and it, it really sucks but do we really need these buffs to be up that long in the arena right so i don't know I wish she didn't get nerfed, but she did. But you can see also right here, Rotos takes her out, block revive. But if we could take out this Arbiter, then that doesn't matter, boom. Now, Rotos took out two people and no one's being revived. So 
Rodos and Duchess nerfs are, I, 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 I can see why they did it, but for sure Rodos took the hardest hit, and I, I just feel like Duchess's nerf wasn't really necessary. They could have just left her alone, but it is what it is. Hopefully, Palerm is trying to balance everything out, trying to give players more options going against other champions, I guess, because Sifi is a good champion and it's because she could pretty much take out everybody well not take out everybody she's a very sh hard champion to counter right she's a very tough champion to go up against so maybe they're trying to get rid of that but if you say something like that then it's like why did duchess get nerfed and not Sifi? Sifi's nerf was like not even a nerf it was like it was just a slight minor adjustment so it's really hard to understand their logic, but at the end of the day, I guess we just have to hope they know what they're doing, and hopefully this makes sense in the near future. All right, so let's wrap this video up, and before I do, let me just show you Duchess's overall stats, because I forgot to do it earlier. Here you go. This is everything she's rocking. I really want to get her up to 100K HP, so that'll be my next project. But anyways, how do I feel about this nerf buff business i personally feel like it was a waste of a time because it gave people a lot of false hope and you know they said like over 40 champions even in that new video they put out they may seem like it's going to be a great deal and this guy right here now everybody thinks it's going to be the new arena meta which i really doubt i feel like that's another false hope because what they really did honestly was hurt a few champions and nerfed a whole bunch of champions but it really didn't affect them at all and then the bust they did to the rest of the champions really wasn't that great of a bust so the whole situation was very unnecessary and i feel like it gave people a lot of false hope and you know duchess and rotos i feel like people put books in them and you know now they're like well that really sucked now i don't know if i even want to use them i could use them because i have a big account i have a lot of gear i have a lot of things i could do i have a huge roster so i could deal with it but if it's for people that only have those champions i could see how they'll be very frustrated so i don't know why they did that they should have just honestly buffed crappy champions to be closer to the top of the like a tier champions if they would have did that it would have been a much better outcome but you know it's playing them I don't know why they did the things they did. What can we do? I still enjoy this game. It's just very unfortunate. And I think if anything, I'm just more upset that they made it seem like it's gonna be this huge thing and it's gonna really change the way we go about things. It really didn't. It really just made things a little bit, I don't know. It just made it a little worse because now Arena it's still going to be the same arena. Sifi is still going to be on top. Warlord got a buff. It's still going to be hard trying to take out those champions. And we just have a weaker roster if you have Duchess and Rotos. So I don't know what they're doing. But that's just my opinion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you on the next one soon. So take care. Be safe. Peace.